Hey everyone, Heartless here bringing you guys another Daily StarCraft II Legacy the Void match. Today it is going to be a TVZ, a turn for Zerg on Laralac Crest. And this is a uh, replay sent to me by one of my friends Daedalus, who plays in Outset. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner, playing for Outset Gaming as our Red Terran, it is Daedalus. And spawning in the top left-hand corner, playing for no one but himself as our blue Zerg, it is Mango Mosh. I have to be honest, the one of the reasons why <clears throat> I selected this one from one of the pool that he sent me is because I find that name so fun. Mango Mosh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Seriously, it just sounds so fun to say. Say it with me. Mango Mosh. Mango Mosh. Mango mush. Okay, I'm done. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. All right. Well, I'm expecting to see some good play out of here from Daedalus. He's actually a really great player. Uh, he's in diamond level, so this is a diamond versus a platinum match. So this is not like GM level quality or not, but it's still pretty good. Um, Daedalus, it looks like he has queued his SCV to go up. Yes. And so he's going to get a scout off in the right direction first, which will be beneficial on this four-player map because it is a rather big map. And uh, all, being able to know where your opponent is just always so good because really, if you don't know where they are, you kind of just are going to die because you never actually kill them. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that was so... That was so ridiculous. Anyway. All right. The SCV is going to go in here. Going to see the... Spawning pool is just now about to finish up on this match on this map. It's absolutely fine to go hatch then pool uh, And in this case he actually went hatch gas pool uh, So we should be seeing some ling speed out here in just a bit Ooh, Yep, there it goes ling speed is just now finished. He still keeps the rest of uh, the, He still keeps two workers in gas. So hmm. Oh, no three. Okay. He just took one of them off to take care of that SCV Regardless, um, this might be... He's still going for gas. Maybe Banelings. Uh, regard, so, one of the things Mango Mosh has to do is uh, make sure to make that he doesn't die from this Reaper or anything like that. This Reaper causing a good amount of annoyance more than anything else. Delaying some of the mining of Mango Mosh. And uh, as he's doing this, getting his factory back at home. So, more likely than not, we're going to end up seeing... Um, Hellions here in just a little bit. Hellions are always good. And also channeling his inner bomber with that third command center quite early. That third commander that sorry, that third command center always adds such a nice uh bonus to your economy. I just I love it. I, I'm gonna call it the bomber command center because he's the first one that I actually really ever saw do that command center that early that often, I guess is how I'd put it. Anyway. Uh, let's see, no any other crazy shenanigans, still just two, wait a second, double Evo Chamber going down. Double Evo Chamber, possibly he's going to be going for plus one, plus one here in a little bit. Maybe some sort of timing. We'll find out. The Lings are going to go ahead and get shooed away here for a little bit. Going to have to be playing in the dark. He just, he has no idea what's going on in this base, um, other than this extra command center, and that he has taken his expansion, nothing else. And uh, this could end up spelling pretty big disaster if Daedalus' timing hits hard and he has nothing ready. Because right now, yeah, so it is plus one, plus one. This is a very interesting build. Extractor tricking there for a second. Is this, is this Banelings? He's putting out a lot of Lings that are going to get absolutely just roasted by these Hellions. What is he doing? going with this he's getting layers layers on its way down as well plus one plus one is just about halfway done hmm we'll find out here in just a second i guess uh Dayless getting stem going for a rather more heavy bio composition i like his uh, decision though with the amount of bio that he's gotten to get a couple hellions because they offer so much map presence. i think uh, match map presence i think i'd like to see these hellions move out uh, do some scouting factors and uh, it looks like 
Maybe yes, he's gonna load up the links and drop him straight into Daedalus's base. What is he gonna get for his troubles? We'll find out. Let's pull up that Eunice Lost tab and let's watch the worker count. And uh the Eunice Lost when this hat when this hits. Hurry up. Ling, load in. There you go. Alright, he's gonna drop down in here. Oh, that was such a slow overlord. Anyway, the lings are going to move in, and here we go. They move into the mineral line. They're going to go ahead and get the first SCV goes down right now. Number two goes down. Number three, four. Wow. Nine SCVs killed already. But the army for Daedalus coming right back in and is going to be able to shoo these. Uh, shoo? Really? Shove these lings away and actually just completely get rid of them all. <laughs> that, uh, that supply depot ended up blocking it. Unfortunately, all those lings died. All right, so 18 links for 9 SCVs, not actually a horrible, horrible choice. Uh, and yes, he did end up getting a, uh, a Banely Nest. Where did it go? Because he's getting centrifugal hooks. Where is your Banely Nest? There it is, uh, hiding in plain sight. And Dalus is just going to come straight on in because he's being so tegrity, putting down a spire and a baneling nest, that this, uh, this queen is going to go ahead and get just roasted here by these hellions, and these lings are going to die so fast to them. Yes, they get somewhat of an, uh, a surround on them, but the bio force for Daedalus comes right around, and he's going to push on in, and he's going to start taking out everything. <laughs> the salt is real. The salt by Mangomosh. I, I knew if you put salt on watermelon, it tasted better, but apparently when you put salt on mango, it's even better. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, what a fun little match. <laughs> um, Yeah, I really don't know what else to say about that other than keep, some, keep a better defense at home, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. All right, make sure to follow me. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.